Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007, and today we look at the Armor Stand Tools plugin. Now you can see it in action in front of me. It's a really fantastic plugin which allows you to customize and move armor stands. There is some really cool features, and it's all in a really nice GUI. So, of course, I'll leave a link to this plugin in the description below, but let's get straight into it. So, if we do forward slash armor stand tools, uh, it will show you that we are on version 1.0.1. .1. It's pretty new, and it's by Wolfie Script. So, to start customizing an armor stand, what do we need to do? Well, let's go ahead and place one down, like so. And if we do shift and then right click, it will bring up the edit armor stand uh, GUI. So let's go ahead and have a look at these two, which I've created previously. So of course you can give them all the different tools and weapons that you desire. And we have put them in a weird jumping pose to the right. So you can move all of his different legs. You can twist them around in different directions. Uh, you can give them a name and you can make them really small if you want to. So let's go ahead and use this as our test dummy. First of all, we are going to go back into the GUI. So while we're in here, let's go ahead and give him some items. So we have the left and right hand and obviously the boots, trousers, chest plate and hat. And we can put anything we want there. So let's go ahead and pop in some armor like this. You can choose anything you want. And then down at the bottom, let's choose a fishing rod in one hand, maybe a diamond in the second hand. So let's go ahead and give myself a diamond, go back into the window and just pop it in there. And there it is. So at the moment it looks pretty boring, he's just standing there still, we can't really see anything. So what we can do, we can change the position of all of his different ligaments. So we can do the legs, we can do the head, and once you click one of them you get the X, Y and Z coordinates which you can change. So on the left and right you can change them by different amounts, so 0 0.01, 0 0.1 and 1. Or if you go on the right and click the blue, you can do a free edit and when you move your body about, it will move the head side to side for example. And all you need to do is just move about until you get, in, get it into the position you want and then just shift right click and it will get you out of the editor. You can go back in and select a different um, axis, so maybe the X one this time, and you can move about until you got it right and then go into a different body part. So now we are moving the body about. As you can see, it is kind of difficult to get it right. I spent quite a while on the first one trying to make that look pretty cool in a jumping pose, uh, but you've got to make sure you do all of the ligaments or it will look pretty strange like he's mutated. So uh, let's go for an arm this time and we are going to try and move it to make it look right. I've kind of messed this one up. It doesn't look great, but obviously with practice, you can make some really cool looking armor stands. And let's go ahead and try and fix it by moving the right arm now. And um, yes, I've made a complete mess of that. So let's go ahead and go over to the armor stand and we're going to call him a random name. Let's go with Jeff. And if we right click, we will still not be able to see it. So we can go into the GUI and down here there is lots of options. So at the bottom, you can turn the name tag on and off. And you can see there are other options such as being invisible. And that will get rid of the skeleton, for example. Then we have gravity. So if you destroy the block beneath him he will fall down then we have whether you want him big or small which is my favorite option that's really cool above that we have arms do we want those wooden arms to be shown or not personally I think they look pretty cool so I turn that on and up at the top we have the bottom plate do we want that showing yes or no so it's really easy to edit and if we go into the middle we can change the whole position of the armor stand we can move him about we can even make him yaw, so spin him around uh, like so, so he's pointing in a different direction. And that is pretty much how you do it. You can mess around with these for quite a while until you get it right, and just keep tweaking it until you have your perfect armor stand. So that's pretty much the whole plugin. Uh, as you can see, it's really awesome. I've had lots of fun playing around with this, trying to get the uh, armor stands correct. If you want to download it, there'll be a link in the description. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. And if you want to check out my other plugins, I've made quite a few playlists, so they'll be in the description as well. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.